In this video, I want to show you how I created this clip using some stock footage, some filters, and InShot's picture-in-picture -picture feature, which is limited but useful. The first thing you need to do is prepare your clips. Tap on Video to open a new project and select one clip. At this point, you'll need to make whatever edits you want before you can put your clips into a split-screen format using the picture-in-picture -picture feature. There is no way to edit an individual clip within the picture-in-picture -picture feature. I'll be using filters for this tutorial. Make all of your edits before you open a new project to do your picture-in-picture split-screen layout. I'm going to apply four black and white filters to each of these clips, then export the individual clips and put them into a new video project to do the picture-in-picture -picture layout. If you're doing split-screen video, make sure that all of your clips are the same length. This is my last clip. Once you've completed the clip preparation process, you can add your exported clips into one project and create your picture-in-picture -picture layout. Tap video to start another new video project and select your first individual clip. Then tap on the check mark to bring it into the project. First, you'll want to tap on canvas to make sure you set your aspect ratio. I'll be using 16 by 9. Tap on zoom to change the size and position of this clip. Pinch and zoom and long press and drag the clip where you need it to be. I'm going to start in the upper left hand corner but you can start wherever you like. Don't worry about the color of the background because when I add all four clips the white background will be covered but for your information the default color is usually black. Make sure that your clips are big enough to be seen, but that all four clips fit within the white preview window. Use the background as your guide. When you're done, tap on the check mark and then tap on the picture and picture icon to add your second, third, and fourth. Once you've got your first clip into position, continue. I'll tap on picture in picture, make sure video is selected, and then choose my second clip. Notice there is no way to add filters from this window. Choose your fourth clip by making sure that videos is selected and tapping on it once more. Then long press and drag it into position. If you're doing split screen video or making a clip like this, you'll want to make sure that all of your clips are the same length. To make adjustments to one of the four clips, just tap on the corresponding clip. As you can see, all clips are the same length. I'm going to add the original clip as a fifth layer in the middle. Notice you may get that error message that says adding too many layers may cause errors. If this happens to you, just export your project out, bring it into a new project, and continue adding as many layers as you need to. I'll place the fifth clip in the middle. You can play the video from within the picture-in-picture -picture window to see that all your clips line up. When you're done, tap on the check mark. Play the clip once more to see how everything looks. Tap the play icon to play back your clip. This is how the final clip is going to look. 
Make any adjustments you need to. Then you can tap the share icon in the upper right hand corner to begin exporting your video. Tap on save and wait patiently for the export to finish. Don't interrupt it in any way or you'll have to do it again because your clip may not export properly. The video has now been exported. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. If this didn't work for you, check out the video on screen now for another split screen tutorial using Video Leap, another free mobile editing app.